So hopefully I am delivering that. Politics done earlier. Also talked about sports. Manny Pacquiao versus one Manuel Marquez part four. And now let us talk about entertainment as Pacific Rim a video takes us on the red carpet. Are watching on the red carpet. Get the latest Hollywood news brought to you by Pacific Rim Photos and Videos. Your eye on the red carpet. Peter, hello and welcome to Cabo Bay in LA. I was glad to be here, you know. <laughs> and very happy because now we are going to talk about a play that features two of our Cabo Bayans. Right, Rodney and Amy Lynn. And, and actually it's written by a Filipino and directed by an Asian American uh, female. Edith can shoot things and hit them. Currently playing at the GTC in Burbank until November 10th. Let us support them. But what is so special about this play? Well, it's what the special thing about this play is that it's pretty much an almost all Filipino cast mm -hmm. and also it's written by a Filipino and and the good thing about it it's it's Filipino Americans living in America it's not a OFW style it's more like just life in general it's about two kids that pretty much are like abandoned by their parents and then they they're living in middle America okay Rodney we've met him here before on the show but Amy uh, Amy Lynn Abayera is a film from the Bay she's area? from the Bay Area she recently graduated uh, college there and then finally she wants to get more into her craft so she moved down here to LA and she's doing theater and Rodney loves theater too this is actually Rodney's first time in a long time doing theater so oh, okay. so this is a good thing for Phil Ams and to get recognized um, in Los Angeles also the LA stage uh, Times actually recognized them with an ovation uh, recommendation. Wow, sounds good. Let us hear it from them. I mean, there's not a lot of roles, first off, for Asian American actors. Um, they're, they're, it's becoming more and more like widespread to have like Asian plays and Asian actors, and there's a lot of talent out there. But what was so great was that they're Filipino. And once I saw that, I was like, wait a minute, what, why, why? And I, how can I be a part of it? Because I've, I've never come across something so specific to be Filipino American. And then once you see the play, it's such a universal theme um, of what is happening and these stories of two kids. But I, I love how the author who is Filipino American just, you know, decides to make them Filipino as well. One of the reasons why I sort of admire, uh, you know, I have uh, artists that play for doing a play like this because it is on so many levels an ethnic play, but we're telling the story to an American audience and doing it with an American voice. And it's the first time, like, it, I shouldn't say it's the first time, it, is, it, it isn't oftentimes we get to see Asian faces, or not even just Asian faces, people of color telling very specifically American stories that everyone can relate to. So um, oftentimes as, as an actor, you know, and in, in the stuff that we've done in, in the past or on TV or film, you know, we are required to put on an accent or we're the ethnic stereotype or I, I don't remember the last time I played a Filipino on TV. So, mm -hmm. as a, you know, and it's just great to sort of finally have that experience and to sort of like sort of be nothing but who we are. From Filipino American actors to Filipino celebrities right. who came here for a big concert. Right, there was a big concert here last Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's called Star Magic. So there's a bunch of young Filipino actors, and actually one of them, Enchung D, he got to go to the Ellen Show and uh, watch it because that's his idol. So we get to see that he enjoyed because it was his birthday this past weekend. So. That was something good for him. And you enjoyed interviewing him. You got to interview him as well, right? Yeah, our usual way of not doing it. We did a little slight ambush. Like an ambush in interview. <laughs> yeah, ambush interview off off the streets of Burbank. Right, right. right. <laughs> but that's not the usual. But that's that's something that we just felt like we just had to get there. But you know, and not we didn't want to go through. Hoops, did you get so in trouble with security though at Warner Brothers? <laughs> A little bit something yeah. like that, but then again, we were on public property, yeah. so just like any on news, the street, right. just like any news outlet, we can do um, interviews or whatever. Wow, on, on the life property. of a journalist! Right. And here's the interview with En Chong D. Birthday so far, the best birthday. Uh, same thing, my, be my, my my birthday it gets better. Um, the people that uh, supports me, they uh, I gave them a day, and then um, our show also they gave me a surprise birthday. And um, my friends, we went to skydiving, bungee jumping oh, wow. in Vegas, so yeah. we did pretty much everything. Definitely, definitely. It's the best birthday for him, right? <laughs> yeah, you had a special birthday, but we can't say what it was. Yeah, um, it's an experience. Uh, I get to see my 
my idol, and uh, that's enough for me. I get to hug her by, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, and showing the idol niya pala si Ellen. Yes. Ako naman, you know, my idol is Marion Cotillard, and wow. she is um, in the movie Rust and Bone. Definitely. Featured sa AFI. Right. So one of the, well, actually, Chris was with me, and we actually got an interview with Marion Cotillard, and her uh, co-star, Mateus Schoner. Hopefully yes. I got that right. This story, uh, this movie tells the story of an unemployed 25-year-old man who falls in love with a killer whale trainer very interesting. interesting and you got to interview was it you or it's actually chris did the oh, interview oh, of course i'm, I'm doing so the producing in the camera and I it's crazy so <laughs> how was she in person she was very sweet and yeah. and, and and also her um her co-star was uh, yeah. very in enduring okay. let's watch the interview uh, we met once, um, we had a reading, and then the second time I saw her was on set. And so, uh, luckily, everything uh, happened in a very natural way. There was a very genuine connection instantly, and, and from there on, we just had a, a fantastic ride. Well, I think when a director chooses uh, actors to, you know, put them together, he, uh, that's the first, um, he's the first one to feel that that we're gonna fit. <laughs> that we're gonna connect somehow. That we're gonna connect. She is stunning. I am so jealous, but I know you're busy, so I'll let Tell you me. go. Thank you for sharing your stories with us. Thank you for joining us today on the show. Janelle Sawyer, Cabo Bain in Los Angeles. I'll see you tomorrow.